A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is, sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. St. Peter, the Apostle, is a stand-in for you and for me. My dear sisters and brothers, we are all the time calculating, keeping records, keeping score of the rights we have done and the wrong that people have done to us. Notice how Peter, probably in all his generosity, goes to the Lord and says, Master, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? And Peter knows that he is requested and demanded by his law, the Jewish law, to forgive five times. And so when he says, should I forgive him seven times? Peter is actually being generous, very gratuitous, very understanding towards his brother and supportive. And so when Peter expects to be praised by the Lord and to be congratulated by his master for his generosity, imagine his surprise at the answer of Christ, who says, not seven times Peter, but 77 times. And again, the Lord is not doing multiplication, but then he's actually going back to another passage in the Old Testament, to the book of Genesis, where Cain would raise his hand and kill his brother Abel. And uh, the blood of Abel cries out to God for vengeance. And God appears to Cain and says, what have you done to your brother? His blood is crying out for vengeance. Where is your brother? And Cain would give out that proverbial question, am I my brother's keeper? And it is then that God condemns him and curses him and says, from now on, you will be a fugitive. You cannot settle in one place. And as you are roaming around, whoever sees you will kill you. And it is then that Cain would fall on his knees before the Lord and say, forgive me, I've sinned against you and against my brother. At which the Lord is filled with compassion and forgives Cain and says, from now on, you will come under my protection. And God would remove that mark on his forehead that he had marked him once to be a fugitive and replace it with another mark and say, from now on, you come under my protection. Whoever harms you will be harmed seven times. And so, the phrase seven times is used against the backdrop of revenge. It is actually a curse. And so what is actually words of revenge and a curse, Jesus would pick up and turn it on its head and make it forgiveness, 
a formula for forgiveness and words of blessing. Not seven times, but 77 times. Or in another place he would say, not seven times, but 70 times seven. And so my dear sisters and brothers, the novelty that Jesus brings to this world of loving and forgiving and forgiving and forgetting and not keeping the score is this, that even the word revenge should not be within the dictionary of his disciple. And that is why even from the cross, he would give out that most important lesson to us. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Thereby, he tells us that no sin is unforgivable, that we can forgive even those that uh, harm us the worst possible way. And so, let us, as we go through this Eucharist, realize that we have a God who loves and gives, who gives and forgives, and who forgives even those who kill him. And let's pray for this compassion. Let's pray for this forgiving heart.